This video has been created in partnership with Artlist.io. Artlist.io is a great online site for music and sound effects for all your content creation needs, whether that's for a professional movie, TV show, or just something online like YouTube or Instagram. Check the link in the description below for two free months off your subscription. Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into DaVinci Resolve and taking a look at how you can take full advantage of Blackmagic Design's inbuilt sound effects library inside DaVinci Resolve. This is a huge library of sound effects, Foley sound effects, so like footsteps, raindrops, that sort of stuff, inbuilt into DaVinci Resolve, whether you've got the studio version or the free version. So it's a really cool feature. We're gonna show you how to have access to. Not only that, we're gonna show you how to sort of take this feature that they built into their software and use it to create your own sound effect library and even music library inbuilt into the software so that if you're out and about doing some video editing, you don't have to worry about downloading music tracks to your hard drive from the internet. You're gonna have them all built in right there for you to search for. So it's gonna be a pretty cool one, but also a really easy one. So let's jump in and take a look. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we've got a project open and we're gonna look into how you can get this free sound library. So we can do this in a couple of different spots. We can do it in the edit tab, we can do it in the Fairlight tab. We're just gonna do it in the edit tab for now. So what we're gonna do is up the top left here, we're gonna go over to our sound library and it's really, really simple. They've just got a download button, download DaVinci Resolve's free sound library. So we're gonna hit download. It's gonna take you to the support site and pretty much straight away, give you this prompt, whether you're on Windows, Linux, Mac, it'll give you the right prompt. So what we're gonna do is just quickly fill this out, click the checkbox there, and then just go register and download. It's then going to download it automatically. And here we've got our Fairlight, so we're just gonna unzip it. It's gonna give us an executable file on a Windows and then DMG on Mac. So we're just gonna double click it and it installs like a bit of software. Cool, and we're just gonna follow the prompts, install it, and just gonna go okay. Continue, perfect, done. So we can now get out of that. And so you, what you're probably gonna to wanna to do is restart DaVinci Resolve, so let's do that. Awesome, so here we are now that we've opened it. We have the sound library already open. And what we wanna do is we're gonna hit this drop down little button here. So if you're in the media, we just go sound library, little drop down there. And under this drop down, we just wanna make sure that it's under Fairlight Sound Library. Now, as you can see, nothing is there and you can go ahead and search for the sound effects, but we don't really know what those sound effects are yet. You don't know what's included in this library of over 500 sound effects. So to get the list, all you wanna do is to go to the search bar and we're gonna search star, 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 and that's going to bring up every sound effect that is in this library. Now, if you don't want this particular view option here, you can just change it just like you can in the rest of DaVinci Resolve to a list view. It's a little bit easier to sort of read. And so as you can see, we've got a heaps of different sound effects. And if you, let's get one, click on one, coffee shop ambience. Cool. So you, and you can scrub through this just like you would normally down the bottom here. You can also set your ins and out points across anything. So let's get something it's very specific sound, but yeah. So let's, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit an in and out point here, just like we would normally with our source viewer. And we can literally from there, just drag that sound effect down here and we can listen to it in the viewer. And what's cool is once you've dragged that sound effect down into your timeline, it will be visible in the media pool so that you can see it. Now, if you want, you can also use these arrows here. That's just going to quickly shift through the different sound effects. So. I don't know, it's really cool to go through and just listen to what you have access to right out the gate because there are a bunch of different sound effects. But what if you can't find the sound effect you want? Well, normally you'd go and download it off the net and probably save it to your project and you'd maybe never use it again. What if you can create your own library? So what we're actually gonna do now is let's just clear this and we're going to hit this drop down here and go local database. And then you see no library connected. So we're gonna go add library. And now it's gonna want you to create a folder somewhere on your computer. Now this can be an external hard drive, can be on your local disk, wherever you want it to be for you to download the music for. So what I'm actually gonna do is gonna set this folder up in the directory of DaVinci Resolve's uh, Fairlight Sound Library. So here's, this is where it wants to put the current media files and I'm gonna create a new folder, my music. And we're just gonna go create and use that one as the folder. 
and it's gonna scan that and obviously find nothing there because, well, obviously there's nothing in that particular folder, so that's fine. We've done that bit. What we're gonna to wanna to do now is we're gonna to go to our browser and we are going to go to artless.io to download some sound effects and music to add to that library. Now there are a bunch of different royalty-free music sites online, but I have partnered with artlist.io for this particular video to show you not only the great features that Artlist offers, but also to bring you two free months to your yearly subscription. So let's go through it. Artlist.io is a royalty-free music site as well as now a sound effects site, which is really, really cool because I love having access to both on the one site and they provide a single license for you to use. What's amazing about this is the fact that that one license is gonna cover you not only for online content creation for YouTube, Instagram, and that sort of stuff, but also commercial products down to feature films. Quite often, if you want to use royalty free music in a feature film, you're gonna be paying a lot of money for that or paying an extra license fee. Artlist.io covers that all in its yearly subscription. It's $199, which works out to you know, if you do the math, just over $16 roughly or so a month. And then if you wanna add the sound effects in, then you can go for the sound effects bundle, works out to $2.99 yearly. And with the link down in the description below, you'll also get an extra two free months on top of that. So if you think that this could be for you, check it out down below. So let's get some, let's get some interesting music. Let's go science fiction, because that sounds kind of cool. What's this one? That sounds cool. So we're just gonna go with that one because we're not gonna go through all of it and we're just gonna add it to the cart. Gonna go here and we're gonna check out. Going to send you an email with the download link or you can just go to the library and download it here. So what we're gonna do is download the WAV file. So just click on that. It's gonna wanna save it somewhere. So we're gonna navigate to where I created that folder and that's why you wanna create it in a location you can easily find. And I'm just going to save it there, let it download. Awesome. And while we're there, what we're gonna do is let's also just chuck a song in there too. So now we can minimize that. Let's go back to DaVinci Resolve. And it's gonna want us to add the library again, purely and simply because we didn't have any files in that particular library when we did it, so that's fine. Just navigate straight to that. Open, it's found two clips, added. And again, the same way we searched for the Fairlight library when we were in here by doing star, 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 brings everything up. If we go to the local database, star, star, star will bring everything up. And now we have everything there. And what's really easy is if we go back to Artlist, let's just quickly download another clip, same place, chuck it in there. All we really need to do is click these two dots, go add library, locate the same folder, and it will just rescan this. It'll add another track, and there we go. We've got our extra track in there. Very, very cool. And now you have access to that at any one time. So if you are downloading sound effects or music to use in your, I guess, projects over time, download it to a local folder and then just add it here. And obviously you can have separate libraries, right? You don't have to use, you can have a folder for sound effects and a folder for music and you can just grab and go as you please. And this is just a really easy way to scrub through your sound because you get it like so. So there you go guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, it really helps support the video and the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content from myself about this or anything else. And make sure you leave a comment below if you have any recommendations on videos you want to see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Until the next video guys, see ya.